Hey guys, welcome to another session of Color Mixing with Chris. Uh, we're going to talk about a candy pearl base coat uh, going along the lines of a black cherry color. Some of you have seen or may have seen uh, Craig Fraser's video, The Candy Color Theory on Black Cherry. There were two variations of his black cherry mix. We're going to do the second one, which is two parts uh, brandy wine, candy 2O brandy wine, to one part deep purple, candy 2O deep purple. So I already mixed some of that in this cup. Uh, for this one, we actually use our 4050, our gloss clear, the UVLS clear. We find that works really well in terms of the candy. Um, the only difference is to create a candy pearl base coat, we added about 20% to the overall mix of Cosmic Sparkle Red and 20% Cosmic Sparkle Blue. So that'll give us that little red, blue, purple color shift uh, to create a candy pearl base coat. Uh, so, we, like I said, 20% to the overall mix. I got it mixed up. We're going to show you what it looks like over silver. That's our Wicked Silver. That's Autoborn Black and our Wicked Gold. So those are the base coats. I'm going to use my Iwata TH, or my TH2 for this one. I love this little gun. The fan pattern on it's great for spraying candy. So we're going to show you what this stuff looks like. Again, the whole deal with this is going to be working up light layers, light coats. You can see how far off I am. You can see on the white paper behind here how little material I'm trying to put down to get this nice first coat nice and even. One of the other benefits of working in lighter layers is how fast this is going to dry. You know, so blowing a little bit of air across the surface will help immensely in terms of dry time. All right, first coat's down and dry. This is uh, coat number two. Again, you can see I'm pretty far off the panel. 75% overlap. Working in nice light coats. First two coats are going to look the worst in terms of the overall look, you know, and as you get your second and third, third, fourth coat, that's when you're really going to start to see the nice color value and everything will start evening out. But it's important that you work in light coats and build that up so you don't end up with streaks or blotchiness or model color. So don't be afraid if your first coat looks kind of like night coat, you know, it's just it's the nature of it. you got to just gradually build it up and it'll fill in and it'll look really, really nice and even. Again, we're going to let this dry up and then we're going to go coat number three. Okay, coat number two is dry, so we're going to go on to coat three. And again, it's the same technique. Nice and even. Build it up, nice light coats. Being real conscious of your overlap. Like I said, by the third coat, now you can really see the color starts to come through. So we're going to let this dry up, and coat number four will be next. Okay, coat number three is dry. This is coat number four. This will be our last coat. It's looking pretty good, so I think we're going to leave it at four. Uh, we'll get this sprayed and get them cleared so you guys can see what they look like. start to see that color on that paper in the background. You can see how even that is. It's the beauty of this gun. You can really see how nice that's going to look. It's going to look pretty cool when it's cleared. You don't see the, the Cosmic right now, but you will see it pop when it's got some clear on it. Hey guys, just a quick little preview here. I don't know if you can see how well it's going to pick up without clear, but that's still a little bit wet, so you can see the huge difference is that little bit of Cosmic Sparkle makes in that color. So pretty awesome when it's cleared. Okay, we're back in the booth. 
Uh, our panels are dry. Uh, it's really hard to see in here because of the nature of this color, this black cherry color. So we're gonna take these outside in a minute and uh, show you what they look like in the sun. I think that's gonna give you the greatest visual impact of like the wow factor of the color and what we have. So before we do that, we're just gonna recap our, our color and our ground coat real quick. Um, for our black, we use our Otterborn Sealer Black. Uh, for the gold, we had our Wicked Gold and the silver was our Wicked uh, Aluminum. So those are the ground coats and we made our black cherry color with our Candy Brandywine, our Candy 2O Brandywine, and our Candy 2O Deep Purple. So we mixed two parts Brandywine to one part Deep Purple, and then we mixed our Cosmic Blue, Cosmic Sparkle Blue, and Cosmic Sparkle Red, one to one, and added that at about 25% to that candy mix. And then to wrap it all up, we have our 4050, our UVLS Clear. So we did six to one, six parts clear to one part of that overall mix. And uh, I think that's really important to, to touch on to build these colors up in layers. Um, you really want to be able to control the depth of color and, and doing the amount of coats that we did, I think, before because this color is very dark. You just, you want to have that control and it helps without having any kind of pigment in here. It's just the cosmics that are kind of giving you a little bit of color, but it's a, it's a mini flake, so it really doesn't give you coverage in terms of covering blotchiness or spots or streakiness. So it's really imperative to build this up in light coats. Uh, again, make sure these are dry every time, thoroughly dry in between coats. And you know, if you, if you think it's good, maybe wait in another minute. It's not gonna hurt. So we're gonna get these together. We'll get them outside in the sun so you guys can check them out and see. And uh, let's get at it. Okay guys, we're outside. We managed to get a little bit of sunlight here. So you can see these. This is, I think, the best way to really see these colors uh, is outside. This is our black cherry over the silver. Our Wicked uh, Aluminum was the base for that. I'm going to show you the gold. So this is our black cherry over the wicked gold. And these two are really similar um, in color. Um, what's happening though is with the gold, it has a tendency to bring out the, the warmer tone. So you're seeing a little bit more of the brandy wine color um, where the silver has a tendency to highlight the cooler tone. So you're seeing a little more of that blue from the purple. Um, so it's a subtle difference, but definitely a difference. And I'm going to show you the last one, which is over the black. This is the Autoborn black. And this one is really cool. You can see, you know, wherever the curve is, it really pops. But wherever it's flat, it almost goes totally black. So this would be a really cool effect if you had something that had a lot of curves or a lot of edges to break that color. I think this would be a pretty killer color. So I think that wraps it up. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time.